Hello everybody, it's Christine. It's time for a scrapbook process video. This one is by request. My good friend Kathy sent me uh, some pictures. I had done a layout for her about a year or so ago with her and her little grandson. And this is her and her little granddaughter. And this was the picture the first time she met her. So um, I'm going to use, my thinking on this is I'm gonna use the Sweet Rush by Vicki Booten um, because it's sweet. <laughs> She's sweet, they're sweet. So I don't know yet, I haven't pulled all this stuff out. Um, these are the three sheets of 12 by 12 I have left. They are a little bit busy, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the hearts behind this little wood grain top deal here, and then I'm gonna use maybe this floral here, and then maybe the back side because I have this blue. It could be a cute photo mat, so I'm gonna try to see about that, and then I kinda of like this little card here. I'm gonna think about maybe putting this off to the side or something, just kinda of doing something like that. Um, I do still have a lot of these little branding strips, and I think this one's really cute. It's got little sunglasses on it, and not that they're wearing sunglasses, but I'm thinking I might make the title Love at First Sight, and I don't yet have the letters picked out. i got to find those, but I'm thinking I'm going to kind of do it something like this. My cat, sorry, is in the way as usual. Um, maybe something like this, and put the title maybe up here or something. i got to work on this just a little bit, and then I have all this ephemera but I don't yet know what I'm gonna use. So I will pull that out. Um, I have this, and I still see like love and stuff like that, so I may try to figure out a way to use this. Anyways, this is what I'm working with at the moment, and let me get to cutting it all, so I'll come back soon. Okay, y'all, so I have got my papers out here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave in this part here. I normally like, don't leave in the recording of me cutting the photo mats and stuff, but I go ahead and leave it in because I'm gonna make some decisions in a minute. That's going to change up what I got going on. Not a ton, but you'll see in a minute. So I've decided I'm going to use the rainbow paper as the first photo mat. And I do go toward the left, which is the more pastel side. Um, this photo is kind of interesting because it's a baby girl. And normally, you know, little baby girls, you're going to use pinks or whatever. I mean, you don't have to, obviously. Um, but by the same token, it's a little baby girl. And so you might kind of usually. But then what they're wearing is very kind of dark right? Because she's got on dark sweater and, and um, her little grandbaby has on a dark sweater. So, and then there's a dark brick wall. So it's kind of an interesting color combination for a little baby girl picture. So actually in my mind, I go, this sweet rush is working out kind of perfectly because it's, it's got some femininity to it, uh, but the colors are not real pastel -y or whatever. So, but I did go ahead and use the pastel side of that rainbow or the more lighter color just for the for the mat there. And then I decided for the, the second little mat, I got that little diagonal blue stripe there. And I think that looks good. I like those two colors together. So here's now where I'm starting to kind of fiddle fart around. And I started down the path. Well, first off, I've got that wood grain in the background. You'll see that with the little ink splatter looking things. And I start with that. And I, I'm thinking I might use it, right? And then I find I've got these scraps over here where I had cut out a little circle before. And I'm thinking, okay, can I kind of use this? I kind of like the little circle going around the, path, the, the photo. <clears throat> but I just cannot make it work. I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay... You know, I like the top part there, and I just, but I just can't make it work because at the bottom half, you know, I've, you can see the other where I cut the circle out, and I thought, well, maybe if I add this stuff down here. So I guess my point in showing y'all all this is this is definitely, uh, <laughs> I am struggling. I'm on the struggle bus a little bit here. It's just I'm trying to make things work. I, I always think when I say do, when I say stuff like that, or I'm trying to do something like this, I always think to myself, you're trying to make fetch work. If y'all have ever seen that movie, it's kind of funny. But uh, anyway, so I'm trying to make this work. And I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at it, and frankly, I really end up deciding, well, first off, I'm not going to end up using that little circle paper, and then I really decide I don't like that wood grain. <laughs> I go, it's just for some reason, it's just not, it's it's not much of a um, foil to all the colors, so I decide to go ahead and go get me a little cream color piece cardstock, and I'm going to stick with that. I like how this looks, actually. It's a better, it's a little bit better foil to all the colors I got going on, and I don't feel like it's distracting from the little photo collage I got going on here, so... That's what I'm going to stick with. I do decide to scuff the edges of my photo mats. I'll end up scuffing the edges of my photo mats. I'll end up scuffing the edges of the little darker color with the words on it. This is like fave, I'll love this or whatever. And I'll scuff the edge of the floral. There's where my, my tape gun decides to go a little wonky. I don't know what happened there. It got all wrapped up around itself. I had to fix that. So I'm going to put all this stuff together and I'll scuff it. The only thing I don't really scuff is the actual little card. The one, two, three, four, five card. I don't scuff that. And why I don't, I can't even really tell you other than I just didn't feel like doing it. So I'm going to end up assembling all my things here. I still haven't even glued down my cardstock to my little um, hearts outside there. And then I'm going to um, 
I'm going to basically glue all this stuff down. So I'll tell you a little story about this little baby here. So she was born during the pandemic times and she came extremely early. And I mean, months early. I think she was actually in the hospital about three months in the NICU after she was born. Her mama was not ready. And if I remember correctly, and I'm, my friend can correct me, but I'm almost certain they had their baby shower planned for the following week, like, or within the next couple of weeks or something. I mean, they had a whole theme going and her little, her, she decided to come early. Her mama was not ready. She wasn't really ready, obviously, because she was so small. I, I want to put, I could be remembering wrong, but I want to put her in the late 20 weeks. It might have been 28, 29 weeks, something. She was really early, y'all. And they put her in the NICU. And, of course, her mama could go see her and her daddy could go see her, but none of the family could go see her. Um, they wouldn't let, this is back in the times, they wouldn't let nobody in the hospitals, um, it, 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 well, don't even get me started. But anyway, they wouldn't let nobody in the hospital. So this picture, I think I mentioned maybe in the beginning. I'm not really certain. But this is the very first time that my good friend got to meet her grandbaby. And you can see in this picture, she's several months old. I mean, she's she got to go home. Um, you know, they were still very cautious, of course, when she did come home because she's still a little baby. And there were still worries. You know, she was still, um, I don't remember exactly when this was. It was either late 2020, early 2021. I mean, they are wearing cold, cold, cold weather clothes, so it's clearly in the wintertime or in the cool weathers. But anyway, they were still real careful. Um, but, you know, she didn't get to meet her for months. So this was the very first time she met her. Hence the reason the title is going to end up being Love at First Sight. And again, I'm sorry if I said that in the intro. I haven't rewatched that. So <laughs> if that's the second time I've said that, well, y'all get to reiterate that, right? Um, so here I've got my little photo pieces glued down and I'm going now with this little sunglasses thing up here. And again, this is kind of, um, you know, again, an homage to the, the, the fact that it's a sight, you know, they're not wearing sunglasses, but it's kind of like, you know, for the whole eyeball thing. Now, instead of trying to scuff this with the little tool, I just use my fingernails on this one because it's so skinny. I try to sometimes scuff the little skinny pieces with a tool, but it's a little tricky. Now, this is where I'm trying to get this word love off of this title thing. Now, those titles came from some other kit. It did not come from Sweet Rush, and I've had them for a little while, so I apologize. I don't recall where they came, but it had a whole bunch of little scripty-looking fonts there, and love was on here, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm not trying to overcomplicate it, but I kind of end up overcomplicating it. <laughs> I'm using the clear to kind of space that, and I did have to get the little holes out the middle of the O and the E, and here's where I got the L, and I'm going to try to get the little hole out of the little L piece right there. And so I'm going to glue this or put this little guy down. And I know that I'm going to do at first sight. And I'm not going to lie. I, you didn't see me do this because it was off camera. But I had to look for the right letters. Um, I was trying to decide do I do gold or sprinkle. I wanted something kind of little. And I ended up with these Obed Marshall ones. I really love these Obed Marshall letters. They come in very handy. They're just black. They're just black letters on a white little puffy circle. And they're, very, you know, they're pretty neutral. So they're, they're very versatile. Um, so I go ahead and I spell out. Uh, oh, gosh. The cat got up in there, y'all. Anyway, I'm going to put first at first sight with these little letters. I almost decided to use different letters for first sight. And I thought, no, I really like the love to be kind of the, the main, um, you know, your, your eye goes to love first. And I really like that. I had also pulled out, you see on the left-hand side there, I had gotten into my, it was not Valentine. I called it love, not Valentine or something. It's kind of valentine -y, But I was thinking in my head I could use something off those love kind of sheets. Because in my head I'm going, okay, I've got love on here. And I do end up initially pulling out the, do you see the little fingers that are crossed or something? It says, um, I'm, what does that say there? I hope, no, that's not true. It's the little hand up there with the flowers. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong hand. But it says something like, mm, love, uh, lucky one or something like that. And I pull that off at first and I put that to the side of the picture thinking it'll be a, build me a little visual triangle. So you'll see me do that in a second. But first I'm going to do this little, border down here at the bottom. I'm just kind of extending it out. You know, it's it's got to build, it's got to balance out the layout a little bit. So I glue that down. And this is, I think, where I go looking at that little, I'm looking at the, the pieces now. I'm going to start building out a little uh, clusters of some kind. And I see that little hand and it says, like I said, it says lucky one. And I put it over to the right, but then it just looked odd to me because it's kind of floating, you know, and I'm like, okay, I need something underneath. I'll I start down there, by the way, and I'll move it up there. And I like that up there next to her face initially. So I set it there, but it just, it's just odd because the arm is just kind of floating. So I'm thinking, well, i got to put something with that. So I start pulling out this ephemera from the Sweet Rush, Sweet Rush Collection. And I end up finding little words that says sugarcoat everything. And then my thought process goes just a little bit different when it comes to the ephemera. Because in this little set of things, there's all kinds of little sweet things. And I thought, well, she is a little old baby. You know, she's sweet. 
Um, I do pick out those big green leaves and things. I start even with this little banner down here. This is me just playing with this ephemera, y'all. Just trying to figure out what do I want to do. I have a general idea that I want to build some clusters, but I don't really have a specific plan on them. This is why I'm kind of digging around in here. So I pull that hand off in a second. I'm gonna. I think I might find some other things and think. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use the sweet stuff. It is Sweet Rush Collection, and I've got all these ephemeras because nothing was really going to work with that hand, um, which uh, does make me a little bit sad because she is the little flower, the little hands holding, looks like little heart flowers, and I thought that went with the border around the outside, but I just decided I don't care for it. So I put that sugar coat everything right there, and I set the hand off to the side. And I like that little, um, it kind of just offers a little uh, offset to the card on the other side, and I, so I kind of like that. So then I've got the, now I've kind of got that lower left-hand corner that I'm thinking, do I put those little can or the little fruits and stuff? And I thought, oh, this bicycle's really cute. And again, this has nothing to do with the picture or nothing, but I thought, well, it's kind of cute. It's got little balloons. And I thought, well, I could build a little scene. So I'm going to put this little candy, or that's a, oh gosh, that's an ice cream deal. That's what it is. So I have, now I've got a little cloud going behind the bicycle. I've got the little um, cotton candy up there at the top. And I thought, oh, that'll be cute up underneath the love. So this is, again, I'm just, this is my thought process, y'all. I'm just telling you what's going through my head while I'm doing this stuff. And I think, oh, that little cute, that little cotton candy looks cute up underneath the love. And then I initially stick that little sucker right there, but that looks, that's going to end up being too big for me. I decide against it eventually, but for the moment, I got that up underneath the cotton candy. And I'm just going back through this, and I kind of think, do I want these little citrus deals? And then I said no. And I see those sunglasses, and I go, oh, those work good because it matches with the other sunglasses. And again, love at first sight, right? So I put those up there, and I'm just poking around here. I got the cloud by the, bu the bicycle. I've got the little ice cream deal. I don't actually think I pull anything else out in the way of ephemera. Um, and this is where I, I have glued down the pieces that I wanted to glue down, but I do come in behind some of these pieces with some foam tape just so they'll lift up. I want a little bit of shadow. So I put it underneath the balloon and I'll put it underneath the sunglasses. And I think that might be it now that I'm thinking about it. I don't do it under just a whole lot. Maybe the ice cream, but I don't think so now that I think about it. I think I just glued it down. So maybe just the sunglasses and the little butter balloons there. And I'm going to give that a little bit of dimension. And then I decide I'm on, in a second, I'm going to pull out, you see them puffy stickers in the upper left-hand corner? I'm going to pull those out too. So the whole layout kind of goes along the lines of uh, thematically that, you know, it's love at first sight. So you got the little sunglasses, but it's also, she's a sweet little baby. So there's little sweet things everywhere. And I think this turned out really cute. I actually, I got scared in the beginning, y'all, but I've said this before on other videos that sometimes I'll start something and I'll think, I don't know how I like, if I like how this is going, I'm not really certain about it. And I'll just keep pushing through. And just keep pushing. And, and you know, sometimes you do make a change. Like I did make that, you know, took that wood grain off there. And I had to make kind of a major change to kind of re recorrect my direction or whatever. But generally speaking, I didn't change too much other than that. And I think, I, you know, again, I just kind of pushed on through and figured it out. And I'm really pleased with how this turns out. I think it looks so cute with the little candies and things. And I go along and I put some of these puffy uh, candies all over the little, that, in my three little clusters. So I basically put the clusters in the lower left-hand corner. Um, the right side of the photo in the upper left-hand corner where the title is. And I think this turned out real cute. My cat, y'all, I'm trying to do this voiceover, and she keeps standing and moving and sticking her hiney in my face. And I, I if I sound muffled, it's because she threw her tail up in my face. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kind of thinking I'm done with it. I actually think I'm done with it. And then I see the little sticker with this little scallop border, and I go, oh, I'm going to add that. And I kind of do that because I do have those darker colors above and below the photo. And I thought, you know, I need to bring a little bit of dark in here. So I'll go ahead and add that in the upper right and the lower left. So now I kind of have a little bit of a diagonal going across the photo. It's almost an X design, I guess. So here's a close-up. You can see how this all turned out here. Um, I will take a little bit of Nouveau glue on a couple pieces and just kind of fasten it down a little bit better because I will have to ship this to my good friend. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so that would help me a lot if you could. And uh, check out my Instagram at Scrapping Harden. All right, talk soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.